Hello, everybody. I may not get to finish this live, but I just felt the need to get with it. Marsha Holland here. If you see me looking up, you know what I'm doing. I'm looking at the camera. My hubby's still in bed. So we'll see if he's, usually he stays in bed pretty late. I'm, I'm up early because I don't sleep well. Wayne, hi. So, anywho, I thought I'm going to go ahead and at least try to do a video today while he's still asleep. And if I have to jump up, you know why. How's it going, Wayne? How are you? Miss you. If you watch me at all, can you guess what I'm putting on my face right now, huh? Who? Uh. That is, folks, the magic of my cellar. The magic of my cellar. And I broke my glasses. Check this out. <laughs> I've been saying for months and months, probably for a year or two, that I need to go have my eyes examined. And I just haven't taken it. So now God made a way to where I'm going to have to do it. Because look at these glasses. Look. Can you see the nose pieces are gone? And I broke them. And now I have to kind of hold them up to see. So I'm going to have to go get, go to the store. I mean, go to the store. <laughs> go to the eye doctor. Hi, Marie. Hi, Linda. How are y'all? So good to have you here. That was my cellar, guys. Now I'm going to do a toner. This is Oxyology stuff that I'm using right here. I mix and match my stuff. So if you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, don't hesitate to ask. Toners uh, balance out your pH and it helps with your uh, overall health of your face, your skin. And besides, it feels so good. Yum. This is Oxyology. Oh wait, I thought it looked funny in here. I don't have a light on. And I still have my gown on too. <laughs> my husband's asleep though, so if I go back in there and I mess around in there in the bathroom and stuff, it'll wake him up, so I'll take care of it later. Hi Nancy. Hey Kay. How's everybody? Thank you for coming. Okay, my cellar, toner, now we're going to do what? What would be next? We're going to do a uh, a serum. That's the order you want to do stuff in. And this is a brand new product here called Energy Booster Serum. Um, hang on. Come on. Don't act up. Energy Booster Serum. Full of antioxidants and all kinds of good stuff. So I'm going to use it as my serum. Yeah, energy. Just kind of pat it all on. I'm trying to hurry because I take so long doing this. I'm a motor mouth. <laughs> People don't like long videos. I can't help it. I'm a motor mouth. I'm also blind as a bat, so if you're brand new here, can't see a thing without my glasses. My next step would be, so, so far I've done the micellar and I've done the um, toner, then I did the serum, now I'm going to do my eye cream, and you know why I do the eye cream before I do the moisturizer? Do you know? Do you know? This is a test question. And this, by the way, is Oceanum eye cream. This eye cream not only does the fine lines and wrinkles situation and puffiness, but it also works on dark circles. So, I'm loving that Oceanum. If you want to know about Oceanum, I'm thinking about doing uh, some kind of, I can figure out how to do a Zoom and do like a slideshow education on some of the skincare that I've got. Because good grief, I've got plenty, plenty to tell y'all about. Now, I am activating this cream, this eye cream. So, if you use an eye cream, you want to gently use your weak fingers 
and gently kind of tap, tap, tap and activate it, okay? You have blood flow that goes through here, so especially get this area like that, okay? Awesome. Now we will do a moisturizer, and I've got plenty to choose from. I could do, uh, let's see here. I could do this aloe vera bird's nest active cream. I can do my ocean um, awakening cream. I can do my uh, renovage over 50 cream. I could do this hyaluronic face gel. Very cooling. I could do, I'm not through, hang on. I could also do, where to go? I could also do the Oxyology Day Cream. And I think I got one more, so hang on. Where did you get there? You are. We could also do snail extract. Let's do snail extract. One other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. Hang on. Got it all out. Now I got to get it back in. I have limited space. Okay. Oh, one other thing I'm going to do is call meso. Uh, wait a minute. Global Oxygen. It's the number one um, Fabrilique skincare. It's uh, Global Oxygen. Look at that. It's time for me to get a haircut. I can't get nothing to work. I swear, I think I'm going to start wearing wigs. I'm just going to shave my head and start wearing wigs. And be done with it. <laughs> they make them so cool now. You can't even tell they're wigs. This is called mesotherapy. Oxygen mesotherapy. And it's kind of like if you went to the dermatologist and got some treatments and stuff, they'd give you these injections. And I'm just going to put this where I think I want it right if I were getting injections. Look how they designed this uh, thing too. It's cool. This, if you put this on before your moisturizer, it enhances whatever moisturizer you use. So that would be cool. So much out there, guys. So much out there. You just need to message me and tell me what kind of skin, skin you have. Uh, we can get you fixed up. I'm telling you, something for everybody. Here is the Isol Drop Moisturizer, which has snail, <sighs> snail mucus. They call it extract, but it's mucus. <laughs> and how they discovered it for your face is the snail farms. And yes, there are snail farms out there. Women over in Europe, maybe over here, they put a lot of snails on their face because the the mucus you know that they use, that they have is full of stuff that's good for your skin not quite sure i could handle that they are gross but the snail farm people had the smoothest hands wrinkle-free hands and they said what in the world my hands well they're handling all that snail gook <laughs> so that's how this came about isn't that interesting Awesome stuff too, and it smells so nice. I soul. Whoops. Booby dooby dooby. Now I'm kind of letting this kind of dry a little bit. Uh, I think I'm out of my uh, blur. I got some more coming though. It's on the way. And I do have a sample of it. I can squeeze out if I'm if I'm out. How's everybody doing? Tell me. How is everybody doing? Hi, Bonnie. Hey, 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 everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I haven't missed anything. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Thank you so much. Here comes the blur. See if I can get enough for today. Look. Oh, oh no. This is serious. Oh. Look at there. This is serious. You can't be at. You can't be out of blur. I will never, as long as I live, ever get another pair of glasses that has the nose pieces, ever. And if I do, you have my permission to absolutely hit me over the head because 
I am never going to do it again. Oh, gosh. Oh. Now, they say if you don't want to wear a foundation or anything, you could get by with using this blur. Because it does kind of blur things out. It do, it do. Oh, I hear my cat. Okay, I'm going to let it sit for a second. <sighs> Fabrilite does not have foundation yet. We've got some cool things coming after the first of the year. It's going to be something. I'm trying to decide what do I want to do. First, I'm going to do a little bit of this action here. This is a color corrector from Transcend and helps with little dark imperfections. And I think it's good. I can almost see it disappear as I'm putting it on. Almost. Very creamy. And then we will do some concealer. Where's my concealer? Where are you? If I would just put things in the same place every time. <clears throat> but my main stuff I have in this little drawer right here. And then I can never find it. I'm gonna snake it a bit me right there. Thank you for coming this morning. What are we gonna do today? Today's Thursday. I have to take the trash out to the street. <laughs> That's an ordeal. This is one of the many jobs my sweet little hubby always did. So I'm having to do all of his chores. I didn't realize how much he did do, you know. Yes, I did. I did. I knew. This is concealer. Fabrily concealer. I will put my links and things in here. What is today's date? We still have that special going, guys, where if you spend $200, they give you $100 right, right there in your uh, checkout basket. $100 off for $200. And then you get the $100 off. And listen, the prices are so phenomenal that that $200 or the $100 is going to get you a ton of stuff. A ton. Because when you join, you get discounts for joining. You get all these nice little tricks and things, you know, like, not tricks, but uh, surprises and stuff. So when I make an order and then I go check out, there's always something there that I didn't expect. Okay. What did I decide I would use for foundation? I have got so much. Let's use, let's use Jennifer Bradley, okay? I ordered this a long time ago just to compare. I'm, I've got so much stuff that I bought just to compare, you know? No, Bonnie, not really. Uh, she is petrified. She will stay long enough maybe for me to get to go to, up the road to the store maybe. But uh, she's so afraid that he is going to fall while she is here. And he did that one time. And instead of calling me, she called her uh, son-in-law and daughter to come help. Because you can't get him up. Once he falls, one person can't get him up. Maybe a man could, but me and, me and Marla, we can't do it by ourselves. We have to have each other to help. It takes two, two of us. Because uh, when he falls, he uh, stiffens up, you know, and he pulls against you, and it's just... It's hard, hard. So no, she doesn't. And she's gone a lot, even though she lives here. Like she's gone now uh, with some friends. And so, yeah. Another chapter. Okay, this is Jennifer Bradley's foundation. I see her ads everywhere. And it's pretty good foundation. It's a cream foundation. 
uh, I, I bought it because I saw her infomercial. You know, I've, I've always laughed and said if you had a great infomercial on dog poop, I would probably buy it because I would be suckered in. But it was good. It, uh, she had just had her face peeled and was going through some kind of treatment. And I mean, she looked like she had a horrible, horrible case of rosacea, the worst I'd ever seen. And it, this stuff, of course, I don't know if she used trick photography or what, but it covered her stuff up where you couldn't even see it. So I thought, well, hey, I'll give it a chance. I don't have rosacea or anything like that. I'm looking for lifting stuff. You know, I need something to lift without making me look weird. Okay, so that is the foundation I'm going to use. I'm going to use a color correcting powder from another company. Maybe if I can get it open. Oh, that's not, that's not it. Ooh, don't do that. Just use a powder. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Bonnie, how have you been doing? Are you enjoying your house, you and your sister? That was exciting a bit. Didn't you just buy a house? Or was that another friend? That might have been Sharon who bought a house. I was thinking it was you, though. Okay. I will feel better once I get a little, once I get my face on, I'll feel better. Makeup does that, you know. Makeup makes you feel better. And I've got to have some rosy cheeks. I put mine up high. They say once you get a certain age, you should not put your cheeks on your uh, apples. Because it draws attention to all of this down here. So you want to keep yours up high if you're like over 50 or whatever. Or if you're starting to get those gels. I think I've shown you before how I try to help out that. I use, um, where is it? Just use a little bit of concealer. I'm not concealer, but, uh, bronzer or some kind of, you know, um, having a brain tube. What am I trying to say? I can't re I can't even think. Holy mackerel. Highlight. What's the other one? Good night. I'm worse than I thought. Contour. Contour. Lord. Contour. Contour. I swear, when you take care of someone with dementia, it almost makes you think you're getting dementia. It's called overload. I'm thinking about going back to wearing my CPAP. I haven't worn it in about two years. Uh, because uh, of him, you know, I don't want to sleep through him trying to get out of bed. But I have got a bed alarm on, and so I'm feeling more comfortable. So I'm thinking about going back to wearing my uh, CPAP. I gotta clean it, all that good stuff. I don't, I'll have to get adjusted to wearing it again. What is wrong? See, my hair is just not cooperating today, dang it. What is your problem? <sighs> okay. Bonnie, I know you've told me this before. Where do you live? What state do you live in? You know, I'm in Texas. East Texas. Got some liquid eyeshadow coming. I've never been a liquid eyeshadow 
person. In fact, I have a whole bunch up there from uh, another company. These looked really pretty. You know, sometimes you can't tell till you get them, but we will definitely show you all about those. Want to get them? I promise. The thing about Faberlic shipping is they are pretty stinking fast, considering some take two weeks, some or sometimes longer, you know. But Faberlic, uh, what four or five days maybe? Uh, shipping, you have to pay pay the price for shipping. I think they have one shipping cost. They may change it later, but for right now, it's just one. I think it's eleven ninety or something like that, but. Uh, yeah. It's worth it. Look what my son got me for Christmas already. A Fitbit. You know what he said? He says, because one day I was talking to him on the phone and I had the pulse ox on him because I'm having these dizzy, dizzy spells, I call them. Uh, I do have an irregular heartbeat and stuff. And so he saw me one day and he said, Mama, I got you your Christmas presents early. I usually don't like for them to buy me anything, you know, because they need, they need to spend their money on themselves and their kids. But I have to say I was excited. I'm learning how to use it. Uh... I wore it during the sleep last night, but I can't figure out how to. I can't figure out how to get my results. I mean, I saw something, but it doesn't look like the graphic that they talk about. So, do y'all have a Fitbit? Anybody have a Fitbit? I've wanted one for, I don't know, years and years and years and years. But gosh, there's so much to choose from out there. How are you supposed to know what the heck? You know? There is a, another Fitbit out there called that. This is the Versa 2 that I have. There's a Versa 3. But he said that the, actually the uh, reviews for the Versa 3 weren't as good as the Versa 2. So he went with that one. But they've got another one called... Uh, sense S E N S E, and it has an EKG thing on it. You could actually do an EKG, which interests me because I have a irregular heartbeat, and I have my EKGs always funky looking. Yeah, but he saw me with. Uh, he saw me with. Hang on a sec. He saw me with the pulse ox on my finger one day, and that's what gave him the idea. I said, I can't see anything. <laughs> says my heart rate is 99 right now. Yeah, my heart rate's all over the place. That's probably not accurate. Uh, because when you have an irregular heart rate, um, it doesn't pick up correctly. So when I'm looking at a pulse ox probe, my heart rate can be like 30 to 130. You know, it's all over I'm going to the doctor on December 9th my daughter is a nurse and she wants me to get the doctor to put me on a 30-day heart monitor because all this stuff I'm having experiencing it's being chalked off as stress but all of it I'm experiencing uh, comes and goes so a long time ago I had a 24-hour heart monitor thing and it was okay but it's like she said, well, mother, that's not accurate because you need to be wearing it longer. So, you know, it makes sense. I agreed. So we'll see. I don't know if they'll order it or not. I don't know what the qualifications are. And what makes me so upset about that is my doctor can't see me until the 21st of December, for crying out loud. And so... Hello. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go with a different one of his partners that I've never met before. I hate that. So now I gotta start all over with all my belly aching. <laughs> And, but I did tell him, boy, if my doctor has a cancellation, you call me real quick, okay? And I, I made it harder because I requested an um, afternoon appointment. And my daughter will stay with him while I go to, to a doctor. But it needs to be in the afternoon, not morning. They had a morning for this, this for tomorrow, actually. That was eye primer, guys, and I'm loving it. It's from Transend. It's creamy. Great coverage. But I really liked it. Let me see what you're saying with my little... Oh, it's a joke wearing these things. I actually broke this completely, not just the little rubber thing. i got to take this thing off. But I actually broke it, completely broke it. So now I have to go. Hi, Marie. Hello everybody. Hi Miss Linda. So glad you came. Okay. Now you're supposed to set your primers. So let's set the primer a little bit with some powder. A little bit. I watched that, uh, what's her name? Bailey Sarian. And boy, she uses setting powder and her whole face right in here Looked like she had flour on her face. I'm not kidding you. And she kept it on there for a long time. <laughs> what? Okay, what kind of shadow do I want to do today? I have no idea what I'm going to wear once I even get in there to get my stuff. But what do I want to do today? Should I do like a neutral? Or should I do something with color? I have this pretty purple mauve and I've also got green. Which one do y'all want to see? Green. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is just light. This would just be kind of neutrally. Neutrally. Is that a word? Neutrally. And here is the green. It's pretty too. What would y'all like to see? Tell me. I hate delay. Hello. Any suggestions? Hmm? I think I'm going to shave my head. <laughs> Green. Purple. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lori. How's your foot, Lori? Oh, bless your heart. That made me go, ouch. You know what? We could do green and purple. You want to do that? Let's do that. Let's do green and purple. See what we can do. See what kind of damage I can do, huh? Green and purple. These are beautiful little palettes. Glam Team Makeup is who makes the makeup for Fabrilique. And this is called the Mauve Waves. And then this is the Green Waves. Then the other one is Gray Eyeshadow. Gray Eyeshadow. Hey. Maybe I can stick some gray in there. Y'all keep going. <laughs> There's no telling what I'm going to look like. I could do that. Alright. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to do a base coat. That's for sure. I always do a base coat. Alright. Ugh. Let's do a base coat. Stay asleep, John. Don't wake up. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. I am gambling this morning, guys. Okay. I'm going to do a base coat. We're going to use the Mauve Wave palette for that. I'm going to use dry brushes. You know you can use wet brushes. So we're just going to tap, tap, tap all over. Kind of a silver kind of sort of grayish a 
has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I love shimmer. Even though I'm an old lady, I still like shimmer. Okay. All right, green and purple. Let's see what we can do here. Green and purple. And a little gray, too. Get all of it lined out. Okay. Green and purple. Let's do some light pink on the inside. I have some, I have finally ordered some more glue you know uh, i've been struggling you know with the glue for my lashes breaking my eye out no matter what kind of glue still breaks my eyes out so i've been struggling with that so i got some more glue coming from transcend so we're going to give them a shot and the green is real pretty um, yeah, so I'll let you know if it breaks me out or not. Uh, I've been using duo glue of all things, you know, and it's just like, irritates my eyes really bad. And I had to quit wearing my magnetic lashes. Uh, I'm going to find some hyperallergenic liner for that and get back to those because I really like those too. It's a toss-up. Once you learn how to do them, you know, it's, it's a toss-up on what you want to wear. This green is really pretty. And we're going to do some purple. Okay. I'm going to use the darkest purple in here. I'm going to use the same brush because I'm going from light to dark. Always remember that. You can use the same brush if you're going from light to dark. This is purple, and I'm going to come right here on the outer edge with that purple. I don't want to cover up my uh, green. So then I'm going to go to the crease, use it as a guideline, and then I'm going to come up over my bone with that towards the tail of my brow. crease is my guideline but when you have let me tell you when you have uh, hooded eyes it really doesn't do any good to do anything in the crease because it doesn't show when you have hooded eyes so what the heck and I'm going to bring that down here I like to bring whatever I use in the in the outer corner, I like to bring it down here. We will blend in a minute. I hope everybody is staying safe. everybody had a good Thanksgiving we didn't go anywhere we stayed right here but my daughters went and so they brought us food we had plenty to eat let me get another brush and let's I'm going to use this brush. Hello, everybody. If you're brand new with me, thank you for coming. Know that I'm kind of different because uh, my husband is suffering with Parkinson's and Lewy body disease. 
with severe dementia. He doesn't even know who I am now. Uh, I think to him, I'm just somebody that takes care of him. And yeah, think about that. <laughs> I am what you call grieving once again. When you first get your diagnosis for something like that, you grieve and then you accept, kinda. And then you grieve all over again when you find out something else. All right, in this green palette here, there is a very, very light beige and I'm gonna go up here under my brow bone. Sometimes I get short of breath, so if, if I, it's what's happening, I'm, it's been chopped off as stress and panic attacks, but you know, I thought panic attacks were like they are on television, you know, I've had two serious, very scary episodes, went to the ER on the first one, where my heart rate got up to like 165, but I was fixing lunch. I mean, I wasn't having any kind of thing that I was aware of. I mean, it just hit me, you know? Okay, gray. I got to put a touch of gray in there. Thank you, everybody. Hello, hello. I'll go back and look at your comments. Hi, Raina. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you guys for stopping in. Ugh. I'm breaking my glasses. Okay, highlighting that brow bone a little bit. Yeah. Now, where can we put gray? I said I would do gray too. Got this little palette right here that's got some gray in it. So let's see. Where could we, maybe I could put it in the. Maybe I could put it in. Let me see what happens if I put it right here in the crease to kind of blend these things together. Now, once I get all everything I'm going to do, then we'll blend it a little bit. Don't want to blend it out. Yeah, where's my blender? I need a blender. I need to do some uh, brush washing. This will do. How's everybody doing? Okay. Gonna start over here a little bit. Do the lighter one first and just kind of touch it up here. And the other looks all right. So we'll just kind of give it a little swishel. To make it look a little smoother. I do believe that's all I'm going to do with the shadows. Thank you for your suggestions. I am going to wear my Sophie lashes again today, I think. So, okay, now what are we doing? Let's do a little eyeliner action. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. No, I'm not. I'm going to put... Where's my pencil? Oh, there it is. Just going to do a little bit of pencil. And I'm going to put a little bit of pencil on top just to, I like to do some kind of liner to know where I'm going to set my eyelash on. I know. But you see, when you get old and you get cataracts, so see, I'm just putting kind of a little line there as a guideline. This liner is very creamy, even on my lumpy eyelids. Don't 
don't poke your eye. Don't do what I just did. Okay. One of these days, one of these days I'm going to try something. You know, there's some girls that don't put mascara, they don't put liner, they don't put anything on the lower, their lower lid. I'm going to try that one of these days, just to see. Let's put some mascara on. It's just long and strong. I like it because it has some growth, of growth formula in it. And I don't put much on, so you know that. I don't put mascara on my fake lashes, so I only put it underneath because, if you remember, I set my primer with some powder, so I want my eyelashes to blend in. I don't want them to look like um, I'm so bad with, with mascara. I get it everywhere. Right. That's all I'm going to do. See? And plus, if you put a little bit of mascara on before you do your lashes, that uh, once, if you have an accident and you lose a lash, You'll still not look like a, look weird, you know, because you've got mascara on there. A little bit. There you go with that. So, I'm going to use my dual glue. I better check out my lashes. See if I need to clean them. I may have to wear uh, another... I love these little lashes. This is my second pair of these. But like I said, I haven't cleaned them. So you want to be sure and clean them. These are very delicate. Maybe I should wear another pair. I certainly have another pair. Let's see. You got to be careful pulling too because I have ruined lashes before by pulling the glue off. Most of the time I use either alcohol or I might use some makeup remover. I, I would never find that because I have a black gown on. All right. Very careful. Very careful. Oh, I have ordered, Transan has got um, a lash cleaner and a lash brush. So I'm going to see how that works. I went ahead and ordered it just for grins. noise we're almost done if you stayed with me thank you thank you thank you all right I use a tool too for anybody that's new here I got a new way of doing this one part of it I absolutely hate. The other part I like. I have to stretch my eye to do this. And I don't believe in stretching your eye. But it seems to work, guys. So I am going to show you here. Alright. Now I'm going to stretch my eye. And then I'm just going to set this on here. This is the problem with using a tool. You want to make sure it's clean because you can see it will take your lash back. So let's do it again. 
right, stretch it looking at looking at the liner as my parking place my camera keeps timing out give it a little tap there you go I like these little lashes do you like them I like them. not too long not too Ooh, this one's really dirty. I will probably take these off and clean them after a while. I didn't pay attention. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with that one. Ooh, hang on. Where is Okay. Good enough. Where'd you go, Linda? Let me tell you guys, lashes just take practice. And if you're struggling I always suggest just go to Walmart and get those little wispy lashes Ardell or what's the other one because you can get several pair for seven or eight dollars and so if you mess up tear them up or whatever it's not a big loss right kiss 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 is the other one glasses hurt my nose all right here we go stretch your eye out aim for the middle and aim for the eyeliner set it down don't you think that looks easy I'm done. That's all I'm going to do. I probably should have waited a little longer for the glue, but this is called Quick Set, and so it's supposed to be ready in like five seconds. All right, let's do some lip color. I think I ordered a new lip pencil, too. Lip pencils I don't use very often. just use them for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can, if you have, if you're a smoker or you've got these little lines right here, Using a lip pencil will keep your lip lipstick or whatever it is you put on from bleeding. It stops it. So, and you can also make your lips look bigger. I have a few of those little lines right in here. I am not a smoker. I am an ex-smoker, but I haven't smoked in... When's the last time I smoked? 41 years. <laughs> 41 years. Let's see. Oh, I got to get that picked up or somebody will chew it up. trying to decide here I have a pretty pink peach coming I mean I'm into peach here lately look at that I bought that to put over mattes because I like shiny lips instead of matte finish this is top gloss uh 
Well, it's going to be pink. One secret to matte is don't put it on too thick. You know, it kind of wants to cake anyway. Every matte I've ever had does. Uh, wrong box. This is called Stay True Matte Liquid. And it is in the color number 40462, I think. Okay, now I'm going to let it kind of dry, then I'm going to put this top um, gloss over it. Yes, Miss Linda, kiss. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for stopping by, y'all. You are my therapy. Okay. I don't think it's quite dry but you can see it's drying so if I get any pink on here then I have to be sure you you want to be sure you wipe it off or I'll end up having a tinted white gloss <laughs> see I've ordered some sparkly gloss Mm, I just love the feeling of, um, it's like butter, you know? See? I'm all done. Got a little purple and green and a little bit of gray. All kinds of colors on me today. Anybody have any questions for me? Now's the time. Ask away, whatever. Linda, uh, let's see. Today's December 2nd. You can join Transend for free uh, until the first of the following month. You have the whole month to be uh, to test it out and all that kind of good stuff. And then come the first is when they start charging uh, $10 a month. But that $10 a month gives you a web link and it also gives you 50% off of their products. Uh, and you get commissions and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, the Fabrilique, it only cost $28 a year to join Fabrilique. And the only requirement as far as quota or anything is they want you to buy or sell something at least every six months. And that's easy because if you're into skincare, they got all you could ever want. If you're into makeup, it's all coming after the first of the year. If you want clothing, it's going to be coming too. If you want supplements, I think are going to be coming first, I want to say. And essential oils and they're going to have children's clothes men's clothes women's clothes uh some stuff for the house like cooking utensils and i don't know all kinds of stuff there's like eight thousand products in Faberlic, and uh, of course you know when when a, a company first comes to the u.s the fda is very rough on them to start with everything is very strict coming into the country so they have to you know, abide by all the rules. So things come in every month, but not all at once. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, I think I have everything in the whole catalog, almost. This is the Christmas catalog. And if you go to my site, MarshaHolland.com, I believe there's a link there to uh, check the catalog, online catalog. And listen, it's cost nothing to sign up to be a customer. And if you sign up to be a customer, uh, you get 20% off of anything that you order. But if you sign up, don't forget, it's your first time order only. 
that this special is good for. That one I was telling you a while ago where you, if you if you purchase $200 worth or if you put $200 worth of product in your uh, basket, they will give you a $100 uh, credit at checkout. So you're getting $200 worth of stuff that's already marked down uh, phenomenal prices and then you get it for 100 but it's a first time order only so jump on it while you can I think it's going to expire I want to say it's expiring the 31st I think anyway yeah they didn't do that when I joined yeah Linda is, oh listen there is so much stuff I can't wait for the cosmetics to come in though. They got a few, like they've got all the lipsticks and the, you know, the mascaras. There's a bunch of mascaras. They've got, um, what else they got? Eyeshadows. But that's basically all the makeup they have right now. But I think some powders and blushes and stuff like that's coming soon. And yeah, I'm ready. These glasses are a joke. I just need to go ahead and rip that little nose piece off. I don't even think they could fix them properly. And besides, I need a new prescription. Anybody have any more questions? My husband's being good today, isn't he? Yay! <laughs> Be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Now's the time. All, all great stuff. I have, I, have, I have been asked, which is your favorite product? Heaven forbid, there is no favorite. I, I can't choose, so I just rotate it all. This is one of my favorite things to wash my face with. It's from iSoul. It's a pure oil cleansing, and it's got Fuligo extract in it. Uh, you actually, you put it on a dry face. And you, you know, massage it all in. It starts taking all that makeup off and everything. Even the uh, hard stuff, it'll take off. And then you dampen it and, and then it starts sudsing. I really like it. And then it feels like your face feels like it has um, primer on it. You know how soft your face feels when you use primer? It feels like that. And I keep thinking, I'm going to forget to put my night cream on one of these days because I already feel so good. <laughs> but I haven't. There's all kinds of good stuff. Creams. I mean, look. Look at this. This is a spray lotion from Oceanum. It's called Oceanum Emulsion Concentrate. I keep forgetting I have it. But look. It's spray. Yeah. I gotta remember I got my watch on. Merry Christmas to me from my son. <sighs> nice. It's not overpowering. You know, a lot of women don't like overpowering smells. They say the best time to use this lotion is after a shower because your uh, pores are open, you know, from the warm water and everything, and that it really does do its job when your pores are open. But, I keep it in here because I have the regular squeeze-out kind in there. But I like to show everybody the unique spray lotion from Oceanum. Oceanum now is probably my favorite skincare uh, because of the technology. It has uh, Feverly partnered with a French lab. Oh, what's the name of that French lab? Can't remember the name of it. But anyway, they've got some uh, top scientists. In fact, one of them won a Nobel Prize for uh, for figuring out that your old cells talk to your new cells and try to talk them into getting old quicker. Did you know that? That's the way, that's just putting it bluntly, that's the way it is. And they've got an ingredient in there they've discovered that helps stop that and reverse it. So yeah, that's why I'm liking the ocean. And then of course, uh, the Fabrilique award-winning technology is the oxygen formula that they have. It gives your gives your skin oxygen. Yeah, 
It really does. So between those two, I'm thinking, hey, now I've got my night mask coming. They have a sleeping mask. So I've got that coming. Right now, I'm just using like the night mask. But I'm just goofing off now. <laughs> yeah, Linda, I know what that's all about. No problem. Well, I'm here anytime. Uh, all you got to do is message me, okay? Well, I'm going to go ahead and get off because it's probably about time for me to be getting him up. Forgot I got a watch. I can see what time it is. It's 11.36. Heart rate 106. Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. I love you. Go to MarshaHolland.com, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.